What's on your mind? What are you thinking about? Why do you act the way you act? Today is an International Mental Health Day. It's a day to take a moment to pause and to remember mental health matters. Why does mental health matters? Because it's this one thing that handles you every single day that makes you do things the way you do, that makes you talk the way you talk, that makes you react the way you react. It's your mind. Now, today the question is, how is your mind doing? How is your soul doing? Mental Health Day is a reminder in the whole world that you are not alone. You are not alone. And there is nothing wrong with you. There is absolutely nothing wrong with you. I'm going to give you four things that can help you take off your mental health today. As being a self-love advocate and mental health advocate, I had to say something today. First thing that will help you take care of your mental health every single day is your self-love. The way you love yourself, the way you care with yourself, the way you appreciate the person that you are, is one of the biggest things that can help you nourish your mental health. Because you're gonna love what you have. You're gonna love you. You are beautiful and worthy of love. The second thing will be self-care. Do the things that makes you happy. Take care of yourself. Go to the gym. It can be exercise, the way you eat, the way you carry yourself, the way you dress up. Do what makes you happy and enjoy every moment of it. The third thing will be, my favorite one, is prayer, meditation. Because you have to remember that you are never alone. God is there with you. Jesus is present. He's available for you. You just got to talk to him. And if there's one thing that will help you handle this world that we're in today, he's God. Don't go ahead and do things on your own. You are not alone. God is available. Do things today that will help your mental health. Add meditation. Write in your journal. And the last one, and remember, this will be the fourth one. You need to take time to rest. Even God had to rest the seven day. Who are we not to rest? We live in the world that everything is on the go. You gotta do things, you gotta always keep on going. But it's important to take a moment to detach yourself, to unplug so you can refresh and restart and come back better. Don't keep on doing, doing, doing. You need rest. Rest is mandatory. And I'm going to tell you the peace that all of us are looking for every single day. The peace comes from Jesus. If you want to feel peaceful today, and in mental health day, the main thing that most people we have lost before the time, they kept on saying they didn't have peace. They looked beautiful outside. We saw them. We appreciated them. They were working out, eating healthy, going to church. But how come they, they took the life before the time? Your mind. Nobody sees what your mind is thinking about. You know what your mind is thinking about. So take a moment today to reflect and check. Is your mind healthy? Are you healthy? Is your mental health healthy? Your physical can be healthy. You're going to the gym. You're eating good. Or you don't care. But what is the state of your mental health? That's what I wanted to talk about today. I love today because it's a moment for us to stop and ask the right question. You have you for the rest of your life. You are a baby and you are who you are today. A beautiful creature made by God. Please don't let the world guard you and the voices take you to places you're not supposed to go. We have a model. And our model resides in the Bible. His name is Jesus. You can read any book you want for mental health. It will help you. But if you do not put God in the process, you may come back where you started. And I'm going to tell some people today, for some, it may be just the Bible reading, meditation, and prayer. But for some other, you need to seek professional help. 
There's nothing wrong with seeking professional help. Because God is the one that gave these people the intelligence to help us. And you're not the first person to suffer about it. In the Bible, we have seen multiple people, big people, prophets, suffering with mental health. Elijah, after doing, after doing something amazing, he wanted God to take his life. So this mental health thing did not start by you. Don't be ashamed to seek help. Help is available. Take the help today. And please, let's take care of ourselves. I love you guys. Happy International Mental Health Day. Remember, you are never alone. And you are an amazing creature made by God. Take care of your mental health and keep on shining, baby. <laughs> That's what I wanted to share with you. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you so much. Follow for more. I will be gladly here. If you have any question about self-love, mental health, I'm here for you. And we are in this together. And together, let's make the world a better place. Bye.